Across Onigashima, the gifters who have eaten Thomas Dango begin to switch sides by attacking former allies. Emery reports the mass betrayal to CP0 as the combat devolves even further into chaos. The Beast's pirates react in angry confusion, while the Alliance members welcome the change. Nami, Tama, and Usopp celebrate their success, and drawing attention from Queen. However, as he tries to shoot them, he is attacked by Sanji, instead shooting the inside of his mouth. He welcomes the son of Judge, angering Sanji, and reveals that he is a former member of the science group MADS. As he prepares to fight, Queen reveals he is a cyborg and enters his human beast form. The surrounding beasts pirates panic at his transformation, but Sanji ignores him, confirming with Chopper that Zoro will recover. As he turns to ask, he notices that Chopper has entered a new transformation, the baby GG, as a result of his rumble ball transformation. However, as they talk, Sanji is attacked by Queen, and he prepares to face off. Chopper begins explaining his new form to Tristan, and Sanji begins fighting Queen. His explanation complete, Chopper turns to helping Zoro. Miyagi informs him about a powerful instant recovery drug from Zo. However, if he take it, his pain will be doubled when the drug wears off. Chopper decides not to give Zoro the drug, but Zoro insists on receiving it, stating that he wants to return to the fight. Elsewhere, the CP0 agents calculate the traitorous gifters, estimating 300 people switched sides. Meanwhile, Nami, Tama, and Usopp try to find a safe space to hide, having completed their mission. As they run through the halls, they are attacked by a group of gifters. However, they're suddenly saved by Daifugo and joined by Speed and Gazelle Man, who offer lifts to the group. Gazelle Man also informs them that he found Komachio unconscious. Elsewhere, Jinbei and Who's Who begin to fight. Among his attacks, Who's Who incorporates Soro, Rankyaku, and Tekai, prompting Jinbei to remark that he's using a world government fighting style. He brings up a story about a CP9 agent escaping from prison, and Who's Who confirms that he's the agent. As the two continue fighting, Who's Who begins explaining his past as a government agent, though Jinbei has trouble understanding how the story is relevant to him. However, Who's Who explains that 13 years ago, he was tasked with protecting a devil fruit which was stolen, and later eaten by Monkey D. Luffy. And this brings the anime to an end. Comment for part 6. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.